as the trucks are lined up for the final race, the Toyo Tire Stadium Super Trucks here on the streets of Adelaide. A full inversion of the weekend points coming up and some different names at the front. And Matt Minge is so happy to see that truck back out on the track. Well, I'll tell you, Matt, it's great for Matt Minge to be up front. He's had a, a horrible weekend. Three thirds in a row, his first time the truck 12 months ago. And uh, right now, he's only set with two points for the overall weekend's uh, finish right now. So for him to be up front, that means he's had a horrible, horrible weekend. Does it give him an opportunity to finally have at least one? One podium for this weekend for Matt Minge to come up. That could happen today. That would actually take the weekend turnaround. And overall for him, it's not possible to, over, to win the thing overall. But to at least finish on the podium at the third and final race here would be nice for Minge. As you see right next to him, that is uh, Bill Hines in the outside in row number one. Uh, Robbie Pierce, Greg Gardner. Uh, that is going to be Travis Milborn and Toby Price as well. And they are off. Now, keep in mind, folks, this is a clean, complete inversion from the way the points sit for the weekend right now, which means your overall points finisher right now with 24 points is Rod Porter. He's starting all the way in the back of the pack right next to him. That is going to be Sheldon Creed. He's only one point away. They are racing for a championship at the end of this weekend right now. And the dude, the dude is only three points off. So it is wild right now as they get into three. Travis Milburn and the insane Motorsports number 25 going real wide, running in deep. They've been sharing truck duties here in Rob Cowie this weekend. Robbie Gordon tested out the first ramp on the main straight. Paul Morris cruising around here in the Super Cheap Auto Hungry Jacks truck here. Very surprising for Paul Morris. He knows he's sitting in third right now. He has an opportunity to win the overall as you get big air from Matt Minguez. The ground just drops off from underneath you there in that section. So Jenna, very impressive this weekend too. And here comes the showstopper side by side down Bartels Road. I speak of Sheldon Creed working his way. Oh, who's going to give? Give it to Sheldon this time. Robbie Gordon, smart about it. He said on the way here, he's like, you know what? I'm a little older. I'm a little smarter right now. And he showed it right there in that green Arctic Cat Wildcat 1000 as Gordon comes in hard on the binders. Smoke off all four tires. It's just the packets wild up. Travis Milborn piles into the back of the number 47 of Keegan Kincaid. Travis not having a lot of seat time. First time out in this weekend in the same super truck, as you mentioned, sharing that ride with Matt, or uh, I'm sorry, with Rob Cowie. And uh, those guys have been back and forth. Not a lot of seat time for him right there. The two teammates bumping door handles. I talk of Bill Hines and Matt Brabham, who gets set to head to Indy 500 land in May. I'm not sure if that was Hines or Brabham going backwards, having an issue there. Uh, I, He's a legend of off-road racing in Robbie Pierce. Now, I believe that was Hines dropping back as both our current champion, our number one in the Red Traxxas truck, Creed, right behind him. Gordon making quick work of Hines there as they chase Matty Brabham down the front stretch. This is scheduled for eight laps or 20 minutes, whatever comes first. And we will be seeing a mandatory competition caution midway through this race with a bunch of the pack back up. Three wide at the top. And that's Greg Gardner, the RJ Batteries entry. He's been in the wars this weekend. More known for his big rollover at the Sydney Olympic Park event back in 2015. Great support this weekend on the side of truck number 500. The South Aussie sits back in fourth position. To go for a replay here through that chicane area. See Kincaid getting all kinds of sideways oh. through there. Thanks, Lapa. Uh, he gets off into the pucker weeds a little bit, tosses some roost, just gets by the tire barrier. Keegan Kincaid, he is an off-road, dirt racing superstar. He may feel more comfortable over there than he does on the asphalt, so he ran her a little bit wide. He's missing the dirt, perhaps. Just. Having withdrawal symptoms as Jenna goes down the inside, challenge for the lead here at turn nine, running the Robbie Gordon livery this weekend, the Speed Energy Drinks, number 50, takes the lead out of the turn nine hairpin. Bert Jenner coming off a great finish yesterday, putting that Traxxas sponsored number 50 truck up on top of the box yesterday with a number one, so he's sitting really good points wise right now with a great battle with him and Matt Minge. Now Minge, he's been struggling all weekend long as we mentioned earlier. Is he going to be out here and be overly aggressive right now to get on top of the podium? Hopefully him and Burke can have a great race out there out front right now. Look at Creed coming through the field. There's that notorious ramp that got Minge yesterday into the hairpin and that's Hines side by side with Pierce. They're going to hit the ramp together as we approach the competition. Caution very soon. Side by side right there, Creed makes quick work 
of Pierce and Bravo move the front. That gives him a little bit of gap. Now, Ravi Gordon has three trucks in between them right now. Right now, we are looking at Sheldon Creed. Look at him, three wheel. It's a good feel for Sheldon Creed. He almost gets it up on two. Be waiting all weekend for that moment. Into turn four. Here's Robbie Gordon. They knock, knock who's there out of turn four. In the turn, this will get messy in a couple of laps or so. Gordon putting some pressure on Greg Gardner in the number 500 truck. Gordon being smart, dives to the inside. You see Greg Gardner, his truck has a lot of personality right now. As you see, half the hood's been ripped off throughout the weekend. Uh, these trucks have battle scars on them for, from the past two races this weekend here. So uh, these guys have gotten a lot of track time here as they go wide open, over 150 miles an hour in these trucks. And keep in mind, these Toyo tires get the power to the ground, but however, with all the suspension travel and the big sidewalls on them, they don't handle all that well on the asphalt, especially at those types of speeds. The discipline slick come out during the driver's briefing on Thursday about damaging these trucks. There's a uh, spreadsheet going with all the damage so far. And, and, and that spreadsheet is very long. <laughs> it's a long list of broken parts and body pieces. You see right there, Robbie Gordon makes work of Greg Gardner still out in front. Bert Jenner looking very comfortable. Right behind him is Matt Minge. But who is now in the mix? Yesterday's second place finisher in your 2016 Dakar two-wheel champion. That is the KTM Trojan security driver of Toby Price. Come on, Minge gets spun on the final corner and parks himself on the ramp. This is different. That's the first time we've seen that in Stadium Super Trucks. <laughs> We've seen a lot of trucks go off them sideways. We've seen Matt Minge go off them sideways, but we've never seen him just throw it and park right on the ramp. The human highlights reel this weekend in Stadium Super Trucks contact with Toby Price and parks it conveniently. You couldn't do that at the local shopping mall. No, you could not. We're going to have to see. We get one more look at it here. You see Burt Jenner, he's all good, all alone, racing by himself. Minge gets wide and sideways. Price helps him out a little bit. We're good. It's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see actually what happens here from a call from race control. Earlier on this weekend, we had a similar incident on that same ramp that could have got a lot uglier, and that was actually Matt Minge really piling into Toby Price at that exact same turn. So that being said, is Toby Price saying, hey, you know, I, I was very nice to you off the track. I'm going to keep my business on the track. Was that Toby saying, hey, you did this to me two days ago. I'm doing it right back to you. Uh, you know, Robin's racing, and that's how we like it. See if she can truck. Will there be a, maybe a stop and go penalty or anything of that nature uh, made from race control? Time will tell as we come around for this next lap. The USAC officials in clean Jason Smith. This is the replay of Matt Minge's roll. One, two, three. Entertaining the massive crowd yesterday. How much damage was there to this truck in the end? Uh, there, was, there was a fair amount, but you got to keep in mind. Oh, these look trucks, at look at that view. Burt Jenner, best seat in the house on the binders, Burt Jenner, so he didn't get into them. And there he is, going straight monster truck style, if you will, up on top of his truck, all pumped up. You know, he is a showman, without a doubt, and luckily a stuntman as well. Uh, these trucks these are designed right after the uh, Traxxas RC trucks. They're so tough. They are rough and tumble. So uh, it's not a big deal to have them take that type of beating. And, uh, so they come around for the restart at the end of the competition. Caution, halfway home in the final race of the Stadium Super Trucks at the streets of Adelaide. Burt Jenner dribbling over the top of that ramp here. Very sedate look to the start of this one, looking for his second win of the weekend. Burt Jenner packs the back of the pack up there. A pretty smart move, really. They get on the gas early, so it gives them a, a little bit of room there. But now here's Toby Price. We saw an epic, epic battle yesterday between Burt Jenner and Toby Price. Good, clean, gentlemanly racing out here. But here's the difference between yesterday and today. As Price dives the inside and makes it happen, yesterday they didn't have Sheldon Creed right behind him. They didn't have Matty Brabham right behind him. This is going to be an epic drag race right to the checkered flag. I thought we were going to have a replica of race number one going down into turn five then. But the Dakar champ leads us out of Flinders Street and onto Hutt Street. Toby Price takes the lead from Bert Jenner. The Creed up to third spot now, and Matty Brabham. This will be awesome. Oh, and look at this. That show, or I'm sorry, Robbie Gordon right behind him. Keegan Kincaid right behind him. And <laughs> we got the biggest names in Stadium Super Truck Racing all right on top of one another right now with only a handful of laps left to go in our last and final race here this weekend in Adelaide.
Creed up to second. He looks menacing, doesn't he? Goes the inside, Price down the middle of the road. Just pulls up the Trojan security entry. And everybody stacks up. That's a familiar sight during the week here in Adelaide with road traffic. It certainly is. These guys getting through there nice and clean. Creed goes to the outside, tries to power around. Nice clean move there. Is he able to make a stick? Looks like he does as they file in behind one another. Toby Price falls back to P2. Getting a little sideways there. Burt Jenner to P3. Now they've got their hands full. Uh -oh. It's one thing to race with Sheldon Creed, but it's another thing to chase him down. Then you got to pass him back. I wish these guys luck. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, and just, just like that. <laughs> Toby Price goes around. It's hard to say if he got any help or if he did it all on his own. Burton Jenner dropping back two spots as well. It had to pop eventually, didn't it? It absolutely did. Now you see these guys all drag racing down here. Now Price and Jenner, they got their work cut out for them to get back up front again as we've got Creed in the lead. Maddie Brabham in the second position with Gordon in P3. Now, if you do the math, Right now, this is going to get the overall championship to, oh boy, to uh, Creed for doing it. But it looks like Burt Jenner assisted Toby around a little bit. I'm sure that wasn't done on purpose. Toby Price getting a little more slideways than he needed to in that turn there. And uh, Burt didn't really have anywhere to go, it seems like. The dominoes effect, wasn't it? Spins him around and outputs Price, who led us momentarily back to eighth position. Had quickly contained. Absolutely. You, you go from P1 to P8 in Ooh. less than a lap. <laughs> Some good contact there from Keegan Kincaid in the Traxxas number 47 into Robbie Gordon in that Arctic Cat Wildcat 1000 number 7. So here we are, lap 6 of 8. Creed out in front. Great battle right now with uh, Matty Gravel and Robbie Gordon. Well, Brabham, no stranger to Stadium Super Trucks. He's done a couple of events over in the US. He joined us at the Gold Coast event last year and recently announced that he'll join the Team Murray outfit to contest the 100th anniversary, the 100th edition of the Indianapolis 500 in May. That's a big, big story. It's a huge story in Stadium Super Trucks. We couldn't be more proud of it. Absolutely, to have Matty Brabham in the, five, in the 500 here in Indy. Very, very exciting news. A notorious ramp at the top of turn 14. He carried a fair bit of heat going down there, but you got to pull the truck up for one of the slowest turns on the course. Absolutely, you do it. And it's wonder if it's still a little slick in that area there, because just a little earlier in VA qualifying, there was some oil dump in the tractor, a bit of an oil slick. See if that's affecting these guys at all or not. Sheldon Creed, really aggressive through that chicane. Robbie Gordon doing the same. These guys are wide open right now. They've only got less than two laps left to go. Robbie Gordon has his sights set on Sheldon Creed. He knows if he doesn't pass Sheldon Creed, he's going to be one point behind him today, which means they're tied up for points. And then this is the most important race of the weekend, so the win with a tie will go to Sheldon Creed. Robbie Gordon cannot finish second. Matty Brabham and the Traxxas driver, number 47 of Keegan Kincaid, now having a great battle. Oh. As you see, Sheldon Creed is checked out. I don't know if there's going to be enough time for Robbie Gordon to catch him. As you see, Keegan Kincaid grabbing a handful of steering wheel there as he lands off that jump a little sideways. That truck swapping back and forth, but they go through this screaming fast right-hand turn. He starts to disappear from the field. There was some hang time from Creed, and now Brabham starting to feel the heat from Kincaid, who locks the rears at the bottom. Going to go the long way around. He gets up on the curb. Nice and clean. Not able to make it happen. Keegan Kincaid, undoubtedly one of the cleaner drivers out there. If you see Kincaid wipe somebody out, they were asking for it. Keegan Kincaid, always nice and calm out there, never too spastic behind the wheel, and it works for him. That formula has given him a lot of wins in this series, championships and others, so it works for Keegan Kincaid. Now, still out front with a convincing lead. Check out the ramp. That's the incident we saw before from Matt Mingay on a different angle. And what's this going to do to the trucks with one lap to go? That's definitely, as you see, Kincaid a little sideways there as well. That definitely upsets the truck a little bit. When you have the ramp oh. sideways, you got to basically hit the ramp in the angle that it is. So that, especially at that type of speed. So it makes it more, definitely difficult. Here's Robbie Pierce. Unloading himself down at turn 11, the Royal Purple Racing Oils, number 30, a legend of off-road racing, and put on a bit of a show for the fans down in turn 11. <laughs> Absolutely, he does. Robbie Pierce, what a great guy he is. We've really enjoyed having Robbie with us this weekend, and uh, he, he's had a really good time as uh -oh. well. Menge and Price 
back together again. I'm wondering if we could see a replay on that if Minge just parked him because of what happened earlier. And I got to say, if that is the case, that's not good at all. Uh, you know, Minge had a, a similar issue getting into Price two days ago. And uh, if anything, maybe Price got him back a little bit now. So we go into the replay here. See Price going wide. Menge running it in real wide, coming in hot. Yeah, there's a bit of feeling there. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of feeling there. I, I don't think, uh, I can't say that none of that was intentional. Look at Robbie Gordon. Closer now than ever with a few turns to go. And I wouldn't rule this out with a last corner charge from the IndyCar and NASCAR legend. So much success in off-road racing. He's the man, the brainchild behind this series, modeled off the Mickey Thompson Championship a few years back, and Menge spins again in the Hot Wheels entry. He'll be looking for a lie down after this. Yeah, absolutely. Menge's had a tough weekend this weekend. That consistently has been uh, having some trouble through all three races here. He's not going to be happy with his weekend result. As they come down to the checkered flag, looks like right now that is Sheldon Creed in the red tracks. is number 74 in first place. Second place will be Robbie Gordon. Third place is Matty Brabham and Traxxas is Keegan Kincaid. Unofficially, that will give Sheldon Creed the overall for this weekend, which is very exciting. A great start to this year's Toyo Tire Stadium Super Truck Series. It was his 50th race today and his 15th race win overall. A massive future for the 18-year-old Californian. He puts on a bit of a clinic to wrap up a great weekend with Stadium Super Trucks. Creed, your winner from Robbie Gordon. Matty Brabham was third, then Keegan Kincaid in fourth. Bert Jenner was fifth down to Gardner. Price in seventh, Minge in eighth. Morris down in ninth, Hines in tenth, and unfortunately for Pierce and Milburn, out of this event.